All right, guys. So we're going to be talking about uh, Bloodline, Daughter of Dracula. Daughter of Blade, excuse me. <laughs> I'm so used to hearing, like, Daughter of Dracula, and, and it, it, would you be shocked if it was? Anyway, so Bloodline, Daughter of Blade. That's the correct title. Um, this was another book that was sent to me by my good friend Chris. Chris, thank you once again for the comic. And basically, this comic was meant to be uh, the introduction of the Daughter of Blade. Now, you probably wondered, well, who's the mom? That was kind of the question for everybody, and it was kind of the obvious answer. It was Chiffon, who was a character in the Blade comics, like early Blade comics, but they kind of left her behind, so the writer, Danny Lore, um, basically was like, hey, I'm going to bring Chiffon back and have it that Blade and her had a kid, and now they're living in Atlanta, Georgia. Which actually makes, a which is actually kind of cool, because I'm so, I'm so sick of, like, if it's East Coast, it's always in New York. If it's West Coast, it's California. So it's kind of nice to see, like, a, an area that is, like, a part of the Marvel Universe that isn't in either New York or L.A. Like, it's kind of... I'm always, like, shocked, like, if we get a comic book um, set in an area that isn't fucking um, L.A. or New York. It's either one of those two, and it's on a random chance gonna, it gonna be one of those two, or, like, like Kane Parker's Spider-Man. It was set in Houston, Texas. Which actually is kind of, like, I'm going on a rant here, but, like, I feel like I, this is stuff I've wanted to say for a while. But, like, the uh, like Spider-Man, uh, like, you may be thinking, oh, a Spider-Man character in, in Texas? There's no, like, huge bu buildings. Houston's actually, like, a big city, and, like, you could easily web-sling from. Um, so it was kind of, if you were going to put spi a Spider-Man character in any city in Texas, it was either going to be Dallas or Houston, and Houston makes the most sense. So I just want Marvel writers... And this is why I think DC has over them. Because DC, if they do bring up a real city, they usually put it in, like, a city you weren't expecting. So, to Marvel writer, to, uh, to all of Marvel writers, to anyone watching, to any Marvel writer watching this, would it kill you to put this, uh, put a Marvel superhero character or team that isn't, like, I know, yes, I'm aware of the Great Lakes Avengers, but that's a, that's a comedy team. Would it not be, would it kill you to put, like, a superhero team in, or a superhero story in, like, I don't know, fucking maybe Orlando, or, 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 like, Portland, or Seattle, fucking anywhere. There are other cities than New York and L.A. I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there. Anyway, so getting back to this, finally. <laughs> um, Bloodline, Daughter of, Bla Daughter of Blade, focuses on a young girl named Briella, who is a vampire like her father. This comic focuses on her discovering about her abilities and also finding out about her dad in a five-issue miniseries. This comic really does have, like, an anime feel to it, and uh, it's not just the art, too. Like, I'm just gonna show you real fast. Um, Danny Lore took a lot of, like, anime influence, and also this comic does have a lot of, like, Buffy influence, too. Like, you really do feel like Danny Lore, which I do think Lore did write some Buffy. I feel like that, I feel like he did that already. But Danny Lore did do, like, it, this does feel like a lot of Buffy inspired, and Briella is a decent character, but I do feel like this was meant to be an ongoing, because, like, the way the comic is, like, written, it's like, huh, they already know about that. And, like, at the start of the comic, Briella already reveals, I knew about vampires for, like, two months like, two months ago, and I'm like, huh, I guess they wanted to get to the point. And for five issues, for a five-issue miniseries, they actually, like, f it feels, like, well-paced. And Lore also knows his his Blade stuff. Like, Danny Lore knows how to write a Blade comic. Um, there's also, like, the anime power-up stuff, and we also explain why no one went after Briella or Chiffon beforehand, because Doctor Strange used a spell to like shield them away from uh, from all supernatural beings and Briella has this Briella has this funny moment where she's like oh when I get I guess the spell wore off when I turned into when I became 16 and uh Blade goes no strange died that your birthday has nothing to do with it because this does take place during the Jed McKay doc death of Doctor Strange era so I was like ah that's kind of that that's kind of funny <laughs> I mean not haha -ha funny but like it, I, I do like that that's like, oh, the spell wore off because character, um, our main protagonist reached a certain age. No, the guy who was protecting you fucking died, so his spell died with it. So I thought that was funny. 
Um, the universe itself is kind of well put together. Sh uh, Briella's other two friends are uh, decent. We don't get a lot with them. There's also another character named Whitney, who is kind of the ri anime rival for, for Briella. Again, this does have a lot of anime influence, and again, it's not just the art. And we do get Deacon Frost again, or at the very least, Deacon Fro one of Deacon Frost's many clones. I literally forgot that Deacon Frost does does the clone thing, because I was like, oh yeah, he did that, because uh, like, they keep bringing back Deacon Frost, even though the uh, um, he's dead, and then I remembered, oh yeah, motherfucker used clones, like Mr. Sinister. There's also a lot of, like, also, this comic doesn't do the whole, like, Briella's mad at, at Blade for not being in her life. She does have that little of, hey, you never showed up, and he's like, yeah, because my enemies include Dracula and, army, and his army of vampires. Not to mention, my other enemies include Doctor Doom and, <laughs> and like, Baron Mordo. <laughs> and not to mention all the other new enemies I've made since I joined the Avengers. So I do, uh, so I do, uh, so there is that, like, Brielle is like, I am still mad at you, but, like, I get it. Like, uh, that, I'm, I'm glad, like, we don't have another comic where it's, like, there's just resentment for, like, five issues, for four issues, and then it's like, you're my dad, I love you. And even, er like, Eric Brooks, you know, Blade, is, even Blade himself is like, I don't know how to talk to the kid because I haven't been in her life, and it's my fault for doing that. And even Chiffon's like, yeah, you weren't part of her life, but we never blamed you for it because we. Yeah, and that was the other thing. Like, no one's uh, over dramatic. This isn't like a CW show. This isn't written like a CW show, and everyone like acts logically. I mean, yeah, Briella does have like um, off the cuff moments, but that's more like she's a teenager, and she do, uh, she is like trying to get used to her powers, but she does listen to her dad. And she does have a lot of love for her parents on a whole. And she also understands why Blade did what he did. And also his ex-wife did what he did. So all in all, it's a fairly, um, it's a fairly decent comic. Um, it's well paced. Uh, the action's very well done. It's a decent enough book. It's not, it, And I do think with this upcoming event called Blood Hunt, and I did talk about this beforehand... But I do think what's going to happen is that uh, Blood Hunt is basically going to be a um, Blood Hunt is basically going to be the de in that event the upcoming like basically Marvel universe you know vampires versus Marvel universe event coming um, in a few months. I think what basically is going to happen is that Dracula is going to die and Blade is going to die too and get resurrected next year just in time for his movie but in that time frame um, Briella is going to take on the name Blade and 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 take on his his, his yeah, her father's mantle for the time being that's kind of what we're uh, that's what I think is what we're building to could I be wrong? yeah I could be totally wrong but on the other hand that's kind of what it feels like we're building to now that we've also seen in the um, Miles Morales comics that um, Blade and Bl and his daughter, Blade and Briella, are basically working as like a, bat a vampire killing Batman and Robin team. But yeah, all in all, decent book. If you enjoy Blade, here you go. Here's a here's a fun character to follow around with, and hope will probably be bigger very soon. Possibly, I'm just that's a theory. A com I'm not doing that. Anyway, so once again, Chris, thank you so much for the comic. And you guys tell me in the comments below if you read this. What do you guys let, um, thought of it? Other than that, hope you all enjoy this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.